hello everyone welcome back once again to my channel so this is the second section of our episode one video which talks about how to, why you must add certain apps on your phone once you want to um, know more about cryptocurrencies and um, forex trading so in this video i'm going to talk about how to use the trust wallet trust wallet was one of the apps um, i talked about in episode one that you must have on your phone once you want to transact cryptocurrencies or once you want to go into forex trading so the trust wallet basically is a wallet that it used to um, store um, different different coins just like your bank account you save your money in your bank account the same way you we, um, you, we use the trust wallet to save different coins so this is a multi-purpose wallet multi-purpose means that you can save different 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 um, currencies on the trust wallet so these are the things i'm going to talk about um, in this video i'm going to talk about how to search for and add coins using the search button on the trust wallet i also talk about how to generate um, your coin address how to transfer money to someone how to receive money and how to check your transaction history how to create multiple wallets just like i said you can have different different wallets within the trust wallet so i'll talk about that as well and how to swap your coins and how to um, exchange um, your coins to a different coin you can do all of these on the trust wallet so let's get the ball rolling first of all if you want to get a trust wallet um i'm teaching this to the basic level so that if you are a beginner or if you don't know anything at all about the trust wallet you can um you know you can know your way around how to go about all these things i've talked about so if you don't have the trust wallet i'll urge you to go to google play store or app store if you are using um an iphone you go to app store and then if you are using an android you go to play store so i'm going to play store and then once you go to play store you click on or you search for trust wallet yes so this is trust wallet so you click on it and then you search for it so you can see from here this is the symbol of the trust wallet so once it appears you click on download and you download it once i have downloaded it i just have to click on open yes i have to click on open so i click on the trust wallet and then straight away it takes me to um my account okay yes since this is a beginner um this is a beginner course i want to show you how to go about it once you download it from um play store or app store so once you download it and then you click on the um the trust wallet it's going to take you to a page where you have to sign up you have to sign up so um i'm going to add a new wallet and then go through that process as well so um this is it for example when you click on the link or when you click on the trust wallet it will take you to a page like this where you have to create a new wallet if you either have to create a new wallet or if you have an already existing wallet you can add the wallet once you have downloaded the trust wallet so once um it's a beginner course we are going to create a new wallet we are going to create a new wallet so we have to go through certain stages so you click you click on create a new wallet so i click on create a new wallet um as you can see back up your wallet now in the next step you will see 12 words that allow you to recover a wallet so in the next step we are going to um we are going to have a 12 different um you know ways and that is called recovery phrase okay so let's go there so this is your recovery phrase this is what you must notice this is what you must take notice of you must write down this words or you must copy these words and save it at a good place a place where nobody can have access to these words because when someone has access to these words the person can log into your trust wallet and steal all your funds now when someone get access to this words nobody not even the trust wallet team can assist you in retrieving your funds because this is your secret 
pin okay just like your secret pin that somebody can use to log into your trust wallet and then take your funds so you write these words at a safe place you write these words as a, at a safe place or you copy it and then you save it as a at a place where nobody can have access to so this is what you can use to recover your wallet once your phone gets missing or once you want to install the trash wallet on a different phone all right so once you have already copied this word or written it down like i'm doing i'm writing my writing the words down so once i have the words down and the phone gets missing i don't have any um i don't have any cause for fear because i have my recovery phrase i only have to download the trust wallet once again and then use the recovery phrase to assess my fund so you click on copy you can click on copy once you click on copy the words will be copied and then you paste it somewhere you can save it in your gmail so that it don't get um lost you know when you when you write it when you just write it down you can misplace the paper you have written these words on it so you copy it once again and then you save it um, in your gmail so that when your paper get missing you can retrieve it from your gmail account all right so you click on continue once you click on continue um it will take you to this place where you have to um you know type in the words that you have written okay you type it in systematic order just like how it was given to you so i have mercy okay the first one is mercy the first second one is faith so mercy faith pop i have four here um exotic so these are the procedures we are creating a trust wallet okay we are creating a wallet so exotic we have roots we have jeans we also have um company um we have fish claw so we have fish and then claw and then we have 10 fire game 10 fire game all right so we have arranged the word in um the correct order if you if you click on the words and they are not arranging the correct order and the trust wallet will tell you to go back and then you know arrange the words in correct order so once you are done um you click on done once you click on done your wallet will be created your wallet was successfully created as you can see so you click on done once you click on done it will take you to the page okay so this is a new wallet we have created this is a new wallet you are you have created so your account balance will be zero zero once you have not deposited any money and you could see from the home page here that you the only coin you have here is bitcoin ethereum bnb uh, smart chain okay these are popular coins so you have them on your trust wallet now i'm going to show you how you can add a different coin on the trust wallet okay so um if you want to add a different coin on the trust wallet all you have to do is to click on these two um dots on the right corner of the screen the top right corner of the screen so you click on these two dots and then you search for the name of the coin so for example i want to add ada i want to add ada on um the wallet so once i type ada the coin is going to pop up and then you you only have to um check this point okay you click on this point you check it once you check it and then you go back to your home page you would see that the coin have been added here so you can see from here the cardano is now added so any coin you want to um, search you can do that here from this search button you search for the name of the coin and then you add okay so the next one i want to search is shiba inu so i just type ship you see shiba inu has appeared here i have to check this and now the coin will be appeared in my home page okay yeah so once you would um, check this and then the coin appears any coin at all you can get it from here okay you can search it at the search button and then you get the coin on your home page so once we have no we have gone through how to search for a coin um we want to look at how to you know um generate a coin address so like i said the trust wallet is a multi-purpose wallet 
so all these coins can be found on the trust wallet how do i get the address of a particular coin or how do i um generate an address for someone to send me um a particular coin okay so i'm going to use the bitcoin which is the most popular coin i'm going to use the bitcoin to demonstrate so you click on bitcoin once you click on bitcoin it will take you to this place where you see the send receive and then copy okay so if you want to receive bitcoin from someone or someone is transferring bitcoin to you you would have to just like if you want someone to send money into your bank account you'd have to give your bank account number to the person so that the person transfer the money through your bank account number the same way it, it, it works the same way here okay so if you want to receive money you click on receive once you click on receive you can either send this qr code to the person or you can either either scan this qr code and then you transfer the money straight into your wallet better so you since you want to copy the coin address you click on copy okay the coin address is what is found just below the qr code okay so you just click on copy once you click, click on copy the address is now copied okay so all you have to do is to go to um for example you go to whatsapp um if i want to send the address to the person through whatsapp you go to whatsapp and then you paste you only have to paste and then you send the address your wallet address to the person so your address is a is, you know it's a mixture of letters and numbers okay it's a mixture of letters and numbers it's a long um it's a long address you don't have to have this in mind you don't have to have this in mind you only have to go and copy it whenever you need it so you copy it from the trust wallet and then you send it to the person so that is how to um, generate your wallet address let's go back to how you can send so once you want to send bitcoin to someone from your wallet you click on send so once you click on send you it will take you to this page where you see recipient address so you input the address of the person you are sending the funds to or you are sending the coin to so in this case i'm going to use the same address to for a demonstration i click on paste i paste the wallet address here and then you type in the amount of btc you are sending to the person so for example i am sending about um maybe hundred dollars hundred dollars you must know the value in um bitcoin so for example it's zero point um zero point zero zero maybe five four two so this is the quantity of bitcoin i'm sending to the person or if you are sending all the bitcoin you have in your account to the person you can just click on max you can just click on max and then all will appear here and then you click on continue at the top right corner you click on continue once you click on continue it will take you to the summary page where you see the asset you are sending that is bitcoin and then from your multi wallet um, coin address and then to the person that you are sending the coin to the address will be found here and then you see the network fee here as well the next thing is to click on confirm once you click on confirm the money will be transferred to the person so that is basically how to go about um transferring different um transferring a coin from your account to a different person okay so i want to use uh, the next thing i want to use for demonstrating is shiba inu shiba inu so i click on shiba inu it goes the same way okay it goes the same way you click on receive you copy the address you send to the person you want to receive the funds from and then if you want to send funds to someone you click on send and then you paste the wallet address here the recipient address and then you type in the amount of shiba inu you want to send to the person the next thing is to click on continue at the top right corner and then um, you send the funds to the person the next thing i want to talk about is if you look at the top right corner at this point if you look here you see how much uh, by how much the coin has increased in value and by how much it has decreased in value okay so here you can see that shiba inu is down by 6.21 percent it means it's down by 6.21 percent and then the increase will also show here so that is one thing all the increase and decrease will show on your trust wallets okay 
so you can um, track that from your trust wallet as well all right so let's go once we know how to send and receive money in our trust wallet let's look at how to um how to transfer we have done that how to receive money we have done that how to um create multiple wallets all right so like i told you the trust wallet is a multiple um it's a multi-purpose wallet okay so for example you have you have some funds here you have some funds in this account and you want to create a different account where you want to use that to probably buy different different coins you want to use that to buy different different coins and have a few of your portfolios listed here this is how to go about you click on settings once you click on settings um you go to wallet you click on wallet so as you can see these are different wallet i have in my trust wallet these are different wallets i have created so once you click on um wallets you click on the plus symbol the plus symbol on the top right corner you click on plus and then um you go to create a wallet and then you go through the same procedure we did for the first one at the beginning the same procedure we went through to create the wallet okay so you go through the same procedure and then you create um another wallet so whenever you want to um search for um, a different wallet you come to settings and then you click on wallet you click on wallet and you select the particular wallet you want to use so in this case i want to use my multi-coin wallet one that is where i have my funds there okay yeah you can just switch your wallet i go there and then maybe multi-coin wallet too and then it's it's it comes up so basically you can create different different wallets within the trust wallet and separate your funds you can separate your funds from here all right so um, um the last thing i would like to talk about is um, um some features on the trust wallet you can make use of the first one you can see just below the screen um we have wallet we have dApps, we have dex we have settings okay so let me take you to settings and then look at some of the things um, at settings wallet i've talked about wallet how to add different different wallets the next thing i want to talk about is um, the dark mode you can just switch and then use the dark mode okay so once you click on the dark mode it's going to appear um dark just like we have it for different different phone if you, you don't want too much um amount of light to enter into your eyes you can switch on to the dark mode at night and then you have a very beautiful view from here so um that is how to go about the dark mode and then we have security let's look at the security of your wallet you can add a password once it's on your phone you can add a password on your um, trust wallet so that if you give your phone to someone the person may not be able to access the mark uh, money you have on your trust wallet okay so you can set a passcode you can set an auto lock on a trust wallet you can um we have different ways of the lock method is also there and then the transaction signing is also there you can you can navigate through all of that i don't want to go much into that so you can um we have the security section and we have notification whereby you can um you allow the trust wallet to send a notification of all the transactions that goes into your trust wallet or that goes on in your trust wallet so that is the aspect of the notification and then we have um, um currency and then the dark browser you can also navigate through that and then the price alert you can set an alert for all the coins you have here you can set for alert of all the coins you have here probably if there is a decrease in value and you want to buy more of that coins you can set um an alert here using the alert button of which you can navigate through and know how to go about that the trust wallet is very broad so this is a general overview probably i might go into details of how to you know use certain features on the trust wallet but for now you can navigate through the settings and you know how to um, go about that and then we also have the dex aspects just below the screen you click on dex and then take you to where you can swap different um currency pairings here 
I think this is, should be another version where I'll talk about how, uh, how to go about that. That is a step-by-step -step procedure. I'll talk about this in, the, in my next videos so that you can get access to that. The next thing is dApps. Now, this is where you can swap different coins. Yes, this is how you can sw swap different coins. You can use the search button to search for um, the website of the coin and go and swap. Or you go and then stick your coin, of which I will talk about this into details. Okay. So the next thing is wallet. You come back to your wallet and then you are good to go. So basically, I have given a general overview of the trust wallet. A general overview of the trust wallet. Next time, I will go into specifics. I'll go into specifics as to how to swap different coin once you have the contract address. I'll talk about that. So continue to um, follow me. Continue to uh, you know watch my videos if you want to know more about how to go about transactions. So we have delved into how to download the from how to download the trust wallet, how to sign up, how to keep your recovery free, which is very important, and how to send money out of your account and how to receive money we've talked about all of this i want to leave you here then we continue in the next video don't forget to destroy the like button destroy the like button if you like this video and then um, subscribe click on the subscription just below and then you click on the notification bell so that you can get access to all the content i share here you don't need to um you know search for um my content once you are subscribed and you are you have clicked the notification icon or the notification bell you are going to get access to all the content i'm creating okay so see you in my next video i would love to share with you different different ideas and how to go about um how to you know everything you want to know about cryptocurrency and forex trading you just have to stay updated stay tuned and i'll come your way once again thank you so much enjoy the day have a beautiful time see you